hey guys so we have done the play game part so now we can play game but we don't know that who is our winner because we haven't done anything to choose our winner so we are just going to do this so after the uh, game will be done like uh, when player 1 will play player 2 will play then we have to decide at a point that who is the winner so we will just after disabling the button we will see the who is the winner so we will call a method here which is check winner so right now we don't have this method so i have a habit of uh, you know putting the semicolon but in uh, kotlin you don't have to do this so this is the cool thing about kotlin so we have this method now check winner and we will start with the taking a variable as winner and we will set it to minus one which means that no one is winner right now so minus one is uh, a value which is uh, for uh, no you can say no result okay so we have this situation now so we will have many conditions here not this one so let's just check it for uh, row one okay so let's say so there are there is a row one in which button id is one two and three bu1 bu2 bu3 and cell id will be one two three so we will check that if player one dot contains which means player one is the array list and if it contains one okay and and which means and operation and we will see if player one contains two as well and and player one dot contains three as well so if he is containing one two and three yani which means first row so if player one array list has one two and three which means that he is the winner so winner is equal to one so if you know the rule of this game that every value in the row is yours value then you are the winner so if there are three uh, rows and uh, in each row if all the values are yours like if uh, in the first row all the values are x s x then you are the winner similarly in column and similarly in uh, <coughs> diagonally as well so this is how we will do so we will do this for player 2 as well so if player 2 dot contains 1 then winner will be 2 so this is fine so this is for row 1 similarly we will do for row 2 so now what we have to do we have we will check for 4 5 or 6 right so 4 5 and 6 okay so now what i am going to do i am going to do this sim similar thing for row 3 as well which is for 7 8 and 9 7 8 and 9 so this is for rows now it's the same thing we will do for column so i have copy pasted all the code here so right now we have this situation that we have checked it for every variable here or every condition here so now we will see if winner if winner and we will see that if it is it shouldn't shouldn't be equal to minus one which means we have no result so we will check it for minus one and it shouldn't be equal to minus one then if it is not equal to minus one then it should be equal to either one or two so if it is winner is equal to is equal to one so we will display a toast here so let's say and the message will be player one won the game so this will be our message similarly for winner if winner is not one then it will be two so for two we will display the similar message and 
आई विल लाइट प्लेयर टू हेयर सो दिस इज ऑल वी हैव टू डू नाउ वी विल रन दिस एप एंड वी विल सी वट वी हैव राइट नाउ वन मोर थिंग वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू रिमूव दिस टोस्ट फ्रॉम हेयर सो वी विल जस्ट कमेंट इट वी विल रन इट अगेन सो वी विल सिलेक्ट हेयर वी विल सिलेक्ट हेयर we will select here and we will select here and we will select here so this is you can see player 1 on the game so we have done this and this is working fine but there is one major problem right now that uh, we are playing for player 1 as well as for player 2 but we want the player 2 to, to be automatic so we will do this in the next video that how player 2 will play by itself 